I think the AFC has deceived the Guyanese people, leading the Guyanese people to believe that they're an independent group, which in they're not. They have joined up with the PNC, and all these people are thinking about is power. I think the Guyanese people should be aware and must not be easily misled by the AFC. Yeah, let me introduce myself. My name is Roy Ramsaran, and we have a television program here called RSR TV since 1996, and we have been doing lots of program back in Guyana, back and forth. But uh, before I go to that, um, about the coalition with APNUM, I want to mention that in my last, um, uh, my last coverage in Ghana, and this was coming up, I was there for a, a Ghana festival coverage. But what is, what is going on with the up new situation there? We know that's going to happen since in 2011 elections. But now that they're married and they, they signed the paper, I don't think that will help their situation that they wanted to get into. They want power. They're not going to get power because the people have seen what the PNC have done in 28 years, and they've, known, and they've seen what they've done in 2011 elections. After the elections were, was done, and they had majority opposition, they kill all the country's progress, all development projects to be done to, to develop Ghana, social and economical development. The APNU and the AFC kills it. So if, if this opposition party wants to build Ghana, and for the for development of Ghana, they should have seen these projects be, come true. How do people will trust AFC and APNU, which is a PNC? Furthermore, when I record my interviews in quarantine barbies, in uh, Skeldon, in Rosaltong, in New Amsterdam, viewers uh, make their own statement that they don't feel that they trust AFC or they have trust the APNU because what they're doing to the country since 2011. And this is a very concerning situation for the people of Guyana. Now it was a shock to me on Valentine's Day when I learned that uh, an agreement was signed between the AFC and uh, APNO. And uh, my strong opinion is that I don't think this is, this is a healthy union. I don't think this is a healthy, healthy combination. And for several reasons, numerous reasons. Uh, there have been uh, projections peddled in the media by AFC and APNO. Uh, of their projections and their plans for running the country whenever they get into government and so forth and I've not and this was particularly emphasized that uh, from the AFC end that we are not we don't have any intentions in joining or, or collaborating with APNU or PNC so this was indeed very shocking to me. On the other hand, uh, why I would say and emphasize that this is not a healthy union is that uh, the members of various of the parties, I don't think they are properly equipped. We have got also in uh, APNO uh, the shadow finance minister. We know his track record when he was a finance minister during PNC time. Uh, let's go back to AFC. AFC, uh, we know for a fact that recently one of their senior members resigned and will be joining another party. In New York, one or two of their representatives uh, calling on the radio has been misbehaving, and this is not proper. Uh, let's look at, I recently had a dialogue with one of the senior officers of AFC, who is the Region 6 uh, councillor and Mr. Hasif, Hasif, uh, yeah, Mr. Hasif uh, Yusuf, Hasif Yusuf, and this gentleman is an intelligent gentleman, an honest person, an accountant, a headmaster for a school, someone that I know very well, and I could rely on his testimony, and uh, where he outlined to me that he is willing on any platform to expose what has been happening. So taking into consideration all these factors, I do not think either the AFC or APNO, they are quite ready. And if they had, to, if they would have probably, I think AFC, if they have probably been running singly, solo, they might have been in a little better position. This combination is not going to end very nicely. Put aside that recently, within two days of the disclosure, 
of this union, APNU's members, and I've seen it in social media, have been very disgruntled about the situation. Apart from that, then we have APNU's, uh, uh, as projected, the uh, prime ministerial candidate. I haven't heard his name in the picture at all. So there are lots of reasons, and apart from that, this has uh, laid a platform for the PPPC to run smoother now. My name is Taco Dayal. I hail from uh, quarantine, black bush, a rice farming area, general vegetables and other crops. Um, we have seen the birth of uh, success in an uh, election that was won in 1992, and the trend has been success all the time. Uh, with this coalition, I think they, were, they are trying to do destruction to the Guyanese people. And I'm urging the Guyanese people to vote for the PP, PPP Civic because the trend must continue. The successful trend has, continu has been there and has continued since 1992. We want this trend to continue. We have seen before that a person can be president for the whole life. The PPP has changed that process where the president can only be there for 10 years. So there is a chance, give the PPP another five years for this trend of success to continue. I have visited Guyana two years ago. I have seen the development in the agricultural sector. It has been so much, so much, uh, a tremendous amount of success. The highways, the building of the bridge to go to quarantine. I don't have to wait on the boat no more. I just go. I have seen development in the schools. I have seen major development in the housing where everybody can afford a house. In the banking industry, in the, and then they, they are encouraging people to invest from other countries. This is what Guyana needs. Guyana does not need a coalition for destruction. I am urging all Guyanese to vote Guyanese. Guyanese wants success. This is what we were hungry for long years ago. It came in 1992. Why should we now take it to a lower level? We should take it to a higher level. Continue the success. Please vote PPP Civic.